Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. Hey everybody, welcome back to a Stanley Cup into NBA Playoffs. As we are about to do things for the next game. This time, we are in game four, as this one is about to be happening here, as Bucks have already have won three games in the winning streak. But the possible have been coming down to the wire here, if the Boston Celtics have a chance to win or not. Last time, they already have made a shout-out win over the Toronto Raptors. They are always on a great streak here performance run. But this time, it can be the end here for the Boston Celtics. It's going to be a win or a go home for a Boston Celtics if they if they have a chance to try to step them down. And back again with me, I have the other two with Clover. And of course, the other one as well. And joining him for our new other side, it will be happening here once more. That will be Silver Spoon. Yeah, of course. I'd like to see how this thing goes out well. Yeah. Good though. You've been a quite interesting, uh, interesting uh, commentator that you were here for tonight. How did everything go for you? Uh, it went great. I know it was very hard, but... But forgive me. I don't know. Just to give all my best of luck. And now we kick things off here to get started here at the TD Garden Arena. It will be a number matchup to get ready to start things off. Can the Celtics win and head on to Game 5 back at Milwaukee? Let's find out. The game starts now. And here's how they did, how with the play of one we v one game aboard, and a catch of DeMar besides the my court. Which one can you play here at this game? If you have Ante up, then you are correct. And testing yourself one on one against other players is a great way to hone your own skills and make yourself more valuable to the whole team. So, let's jump right in. So Danny, what are we checking out today? Today we're headed into the market to play 1v1. I want to see how my two guard shooter matches up against the competition and see if I can score a win. Yeah, for those that don't know, that's where you can compete in one-on-one -on -one games in the matchmaking arena. Keep in mind, there's other arenas around the city where you can play 1v1, 3v3, and 3v3 versus CPU opponent. And I hope we just outline maybe like five tips for people who've never played one-on-one -on -one before, and let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, here we go. Let's go, and here's how they do. Tip number one, try to defend without leaving your feet. Danny, you did a great job without leaving your feet, but oftentimes you will get pump fake because everybody wants to block a shot, right? Learn to defend with the right stick. It's a way of being patient and you can create some space between you and an offensive player. It's true, no one's gonna come and help you if you get burned, so just stay calm. Like You don't have to be overly eager on the sticks, just wait. Stay out on your feet, keep that hand up to contest. Here's so number two. You have kind of shown me as we've been playing in the rack with Team 2K TV. You can't shoot unless you really have space. And I brought in a build that doesn't really drive and doesn't really take people off the dribble. So when I take those shots, I need room, I need space. And that's something I figured out. If they're too close, the shot's not going in in a one on one thing. Yeah, that's a really great point, Danny. Make sure to take smart shots when you have the space because defenders can close out very quickly. Tip three. Here's Make three. Sure stay clear of the defender. If you do get that rebound, you gotta pull it back beyond the three-point arc. Don't run directly into the defender who's gonna be waiting and trying to steal it. If you run left every time, he's probably gonna snatch that ball from you. So what you wanna do is run away from the defender, clear the ball, and then reset. One of the great things about playing one-on-one -on -one is you can see how do you match up if you've got a single defender in a team game. Are you gonna be able to have the speed to get the space you want? It's a great way to test your overall build. Leave a bit of a gap between you and the offense. Here's player. number four. So many Leave the gap. players are light and fast and you can't get right there because you're gonna get burned on that first step. So just give a little buffer. It's gonna give you time to react. It's gonna give you time to make a decision and just give that little pocket, not far enough that they can shoot the ball in your face, but far enough that you've got room to make a reaction. Every time we play rec, I always talk about playing sides. If a guy likes to go left, cut him off. 
in 1v1, you want to give them a little bit of space because especially those guards, they know they're dribbling. I get burned all the time if I try to play too close. So I'm going to give them a step back. I'm going to try to read their body. Are they going right? Are they jab stepping? What are they going to do with their dribble moves? Tip number five. And here's five. Simplify your gameplay. The more predictable you become as a player, the better off and the better chances the defenders have of adapting to that gameplay. You don't want to always settle for the same move. Keep your defenders guessing. And this is the great reason to play 1v1 is to figure out some things you can do to help your team. Try your game out here and then take it with you to those competitive arenas. Yep, and then you'll start picking up those dubs in all the other modes. Now we got to go get some dubs. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's close this meeting, guys. Right. Thank you so much for your watching for this one. Let's get in the game. A gorgeous, a gorgeous evening here in the downtown of Boston Celtics of the Massachusetts. It's the night here for game four. A win or go home in between those two. And along with me, Silver Spoon, and Clover, this is the NBA playoffs of conference semifinals of game four. And I, the force, is on the sideline. We start with you. Thanks, Brian. Jalen Brown making his first All-Star appearance in 2021, his fifth season in the league. But you ask him, he says he's just getting started. He said, quote, I don't have a ceiling. I'm just going to keep my head down and keep working and see where it leads me. Year after year. year, after year. Thank you, Allie. It's so smooth. I got lots of things to say. I really enjoyed seeing the players. I got some great attitude right now along with it, too. What do you think will we be next? Well, my take could be a uh, next one could be going for in between that uh, Chris Middleton and Jason Tatum. I'm thinking the tell player that I wanted to see is how the Bucks can get their heads on, heads on collision, and find things out if they wanted to get things up here on the run. And hopefully, I would like to see the uh, Celtics take your win. It might be your best luck. Hello, <laughs> wish me the best. The game's about to start. The ball is up. And we stick things up here to start for game four, all fueled up and ready to go. Now Drew Holiday is on point guard. Following along is Wesley Matthews in shooting guard. And it's Middleton in the small forward. Ana Kumpo in point forward and in Brook Lopez in center. Holiday, he was the last decades here of the, of the uh, New Balance player of the game. How does it really take a uh, consequence to take their game up to the pride again? Well, the pride can be a very uh, tricky idea. My moment of this one can be uh, only challenge step by step. In between the runs, you might need to see how well you can do in order to become a professional player here. Yeah? And because of Drew Holiday, he has worked really hard. In between the facts, it might be very uh, difficult to take the range. You know, what's the comparison? Nothing to go in between by those two, Tatum and Holiday, for sure. Williams with a wraparound shot. That will be off the target. No score yet in between. We're on, We're under two minutes here in for the first quarter. Holiday with the two. And the first bucket counts in as Holiday gets his first bucket in game four. The in-between zones. You can't let your man get off to a takeout down there. You might need some help to get the pressure on. Tatum for three, with nobody open around as Brown takes a rebound. Smart decides to go for it. Yes, he does! It's Brown with the assist! They're up by one. What a difference maker here, the Jalen Brown. Interesting to run with the me. And for Marcus Smart, he gives it off a great time. Holiday outside, Smart on him. Screen on Anacumpo. Alley oop, it goes in there in time, and Milwaukee picks up another Milwaukee alley oop success. The alley oop successful, it's going to be very timing. I don't know what's it going to be. If it's in between those two. Smart in the corner for three, made in front, and now he has two in a row. They're going in between. The attacker on the run here for Smart, he now has six. Holiday only has two, and two, that makes equals four. Adekumpo over Horford, and rebound and comes with Milwaukee, and Matthews nobody around. That also takes off our off-rebounding target. 
Smart. Off to Williams. Take it through. That was a phenomenon with a, with a finish drive. And Smart with the assist. Hell yeah. That was a good one. Robert Williams is definitely a great chance. You know, because of the Rocket Smart. You got smart moves, I know. And on the Kumpo slam down. They are just spamming it down in before. They're down by two. The tough ones in matchups are in between the allies and the group. And the Robert Williams two gun performing run. This one catches up to be four points for Williams. The first time on is called by Milwaukee with a minute and 38 to go. What a special move to move. Move on this one run was a phenomenal success. We got to a lot of uh, courtesy here from in between those two. And with you joining us here for the next game, we will have the another one Eastern Conference matchup as we have the Sixers and the Heat here at Philadelphia. Here for an Earl game, as standing by will be Kevin Harlan and also with uh, the Ever Clue crew, uh, Chris Weber and Clark Kellogg. And we've got some a lot of uh, coverage here with this game. This is all we've had here. The moment you've been waiting for here, the moment of time that the player may have a higher average out there, there might be someone who is a higher percent of the average of the key. And maybe the next sixth man of the year can be the next one. I have some uh, agreements in between those tier players, but I'm not sure who else has it in the, uh, in the percentage at this point. It may be very tough for me to try to figure it out, but I'm not sure who will it be. Well, I'm guessing we'll have to find out here later then. And for a new changeup in group, Nora is checked in as Holiday keeps him on point guard. All following along is Allen. He reaches up here for the last game here and tremendous run here to try to slow them down. I know that one. The slowing down is a tangful idea. In between my groups, the Allen and Nazi, well, I guess Allen has a little best. There's a mother woman on her own opportunity here. Pritchard right to Brown. Brown just off to Feist. Up and over again, the three second calls on Feist. That was going to be another turnover on Boston. That happened the same thing, just like the last game. Yeah, not so good. It all becomes oppressive, and in most of all, things are starting to go bad. They're losing the tempos out there. They need to get out of the paint right away. Holiday outside on Pritchard. Screen on Aurora. And this one goes up, nowhere behind, and dunking it again. And Drew Holiday picks up 10, and it's up another two-pointer score. This one's another tricky one. Oh, great feed of the scoop, and it's a Derek White with his first bucket. Yeah, I like that scoop that you just said. Yeah, you're right up, feeding me, Don't have to judge me for that one. I don't have to complain, but... Uh, well, ball, I've tried very hard. Six on the shot clock. New Orleans needs a man to get some shots down. And coming in the feed, White takes the block. And this was the first one on the Celtics. What a feed. Derek White, how strong he is. He really gets some a great green team to bleed them down of green. Williams for three. That is a good feed off take. They're now in the lead. Extension by five. Holiday with a half court shot. That goes off target. And the first quarter has come to an end. It's 15 to 10. What an excellent play here. In between us two, we might be looking for the next one. And I guess there might be another one happy there too. The first quarter has ended. We'll be right back with the second quarter. Second quarter is underway as it's now a 15-10 lead. And to talk about the moment of time that Pat Connaughton always have his bucks in depth. The next one we are calling for Celtics on the depth of the, uh, the deputy. There might be a choice option for Derek White. How does he have his own communication when his team needs to have this find himself with a back-to-back run of his score? Well, the back-to-back -back run for this score can um, honestly would have some opinions down here on the board. There might be somebody else out there that might be giving up a, uh, another try. And a Wolfie Credit can be the only change that might be on your way to give him a run. 
my third white, he was definitely going to get there in time. But foul on one. And for the foul, that will be first up the race here for the second quarter is on Allen, his first personal first team foul. As Derek White will head to the free throw line. This hits the first free throw. Two free throws has been sent for Derek White. What a terrific idea for Derek White and a lot of fan favorite. Holiday on Pritchard. This one gives him off to another elbow inside. Every rebound is taken up by Pritchard. He has his first rebound in game four. It's now a 17-10 game. Now back to Pritchard. He goes right over to Daniel Feist. Feist inside, shoots up inside. That takes off the bound as the rebound is on Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis up there, can be strong. And Connaughton takes a drive in the paint. That gives him a hard time out there. Only the putting the bucks in depth and change up. Brown, look out below. Brown to sky, mile high. And I want revenge. That was a tough one in the bound. You could feel that Jalen Brown's already that good. Jalen Brown. <laughs> I definitely like that one. <laughs> Another rebound save here for the Celtics as Grant Williams got his first one. Now Derek White goes to Grant Williams. Back to White. 345, bound to go here for the first half. Feist trying to go back in around Bobby Portis, but it was almost picked up too loose. Brown with the jumper. Good. That's a two-pointer for Jalen Brown. The Jalen Brown drive is always a step pounder. You might have some attack here, you might want to go along. Allen missing the two-pointer off in time as Williams picks up his rebound. Now Pritchard outside. Now Grant Williams gives it up to Feist with the screen. Back to Pritchard. New changing an offensive set for the Boston Celtics. Feist inside from the baseline. Good! That's a terrific offensive play. That goes to Pritchard with the assist. And two bucket score will be on for Feist. Timeout called by Milwaukee with 2.52 left to go. It's 23-12. You can feel the energy. Most of the fans are all wild out here. Better than game three the last game. But you definitely shocked my heart down. Don't have to apologize that one, dear. You will be fine. And hopefully if that one of course, maybe you can tune in for the next one here. If the, if the team wins for the Celtics and moves on, that might be a great key. And some new group changes of groups are coming in along the board as Serge Ibaka is checked in for Bobby Portis Jr. As this one is going down to the center as Ana Kumpo is checked in. Robert Williams is also checked back in with Daniel Feist and the feed off for Ida Kumpo went back in. Smart, Tatum, Al Horford are all checked back in. Now Smart, this off to Williams. You can't stop the man down. Robert Williams slams it down and assists us on Smart. Smart, he is on Smart move out there. Smart pass up and what a great feed. Middleton on White. Now defensive breakdown. The rebound again. Ana Kumpo got it to go. This one's another two-pointer chance for Ana Kumpo. He has a lot of points of average here for, for the last game. But I don't know what will happen for this game if he can try to like stomp them down. Tatum deep. That goes off target. Ana Kumpo off to Middleton. And I'll again. This 
one gives a good feed on Adam Kumpo. The last game did happen. That's another consecutive run here for Milwaukee. And Tatum sets up for the drive. But this one, Aliou. It was going to be almost off the target here, but I almost had the rejection out here. That would have been a close call. And secondly, Jason Tatum got a great drive out there. Well done for him. Pat Connaughton almost lost the ball, but holds on tight. Tatum trying to deliver it with a going for a steal after foul with the reach. Gil Tank stepping from the box is good, and now they're down by seven. This one's giving it a hard timing with defensive breakdown. They can't lose their man in the average here to try to pick and pay. White over to Tatum. With the shot, Tatum, good! The two-pointer is in the game for Tatum. Now they're up by nine. This one's an outstanding, incredible performance effort. Jason Tatum is like a smart man. Connaughton right to Abaka. Over around Horford. Great D, and that's Robert Williams with the rebound. He knows his way. He's got a great hustle on the rebounding skills. Rebound is all he has taken before. Horford up again outside. Riding over and almost deflected away. Tatum finds Robert Williams up in front. That's a great strong D on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now down to 20 seconds. You feel the pressure was on the, on the heat for Giannis Antetokounmpo? That's because he has gotten some uh, stronger ability here, here for, the, for Giannis Antetokounmpo to stop the pressure on the D. And now he knows he was going to try to make it a carry. Horford going for the buzz beater, and he was skipped up away. So that ends the first half. It's 29-20. We'll be right back with the second half of the game when we come back after halftime. This first half is sounding like an interesting, a, a great game in performance but than the last one. But let's find out how well they did here for the first half recap of Celtics and Bucks in Game 4. And the first half recap is on the board with the statistic results. That is it for today. Now let's send you back to TD Garden to start the second half. Post game will be on its way soon after this game is over. And we welcome you back here at the TD Garden Arena as all the players have already got rehydrated and back on the court. With the status of Giannis on the Kumpo, his status is all fair on the board, 10 points, and only had 5 shots made. This only turns out to me the Greek freak has already have been showing his response to courtesy. But my moment of time cannot be raised here so far. It might be happening here, but moment of that being released? It looks like Giannis can be trying to struggle their way and streak to looking for a chance for a second streak here since 2020. Up one for nowhere to go, Tatum inside, driving in front, and he's fouled by Chris Middleton. His first personal down delivery, the first team foul in Boston to a walk. First team foul. Now Jason Tatum will head to the free throw line as Boston Celtics are making another free throw attempts here for two shots. I know that was going to be very hard. It might be somewhere else. Instead, my goodness, I know that happened. Can be a very tricky one. If you had it here before, then you may have it on your own. Exactly true. That might be also a good aperture too to give that one a worthy credit. Tatum knocks down the first free throw. All the average here for Jason Tatum. He paid it off to get right in the money. He really wants it. All he has to do is try to keep an eye on the pride and know what his best performance can be. The second free throw for Jason Tatum is good. We approach down with under minutes to play on the court. 
as right now it's Matthews picking up the strength. And Matthews, oh boy, you bet that win was going to be a fast break here. And that will be an assist coming in here for, for Drew Holiday. Holiday was going to be a lot of luck nowhere. Top one. Oh, and rejected by Brooke Lopez. That first block received here in game three to four. No blocks in game three, but now game four releases up for Brooke Lopez. What a run. The drive definitely got in trouble out there. Wesley Matthew was picking up a strength. Now Smart. Fishing back. Brown. Back to Williams. And you bet your feeling, buddy. Robert Williams got a dunk. And Jalen Brown with the assist. What a smart drive. And the dunk is crazy. I all love that to hear it. In between the players, except for the opponents. And the revenge on the Kupo says, not for tonight. I'm coming back here to, to try to slam it all down. The timeout has been called by Boston Celtics with 3.35 to go. This is a 33-26 game. With all the taping between here, this one was a lot of uh, strength and ability. It was too much for the Bucks to try to win this game here in the playoffs. But without any questioning, all considerably, they have gotten some lot of good responses. Yeah, it's true. You know the feeling of this one can be more tricky than he had. But now it may be very too much to try to slam it down on the board. It can be very tricky enough you know, to try to spread things up a bit. Not too much players are going to give up when they can work credit shot, but it's all it happens to be a one tricky motion. In between those two is a very hard pick out. I bet that would be a hard feeling. In between my uh, attacking in the zone, there might be a lot of players. They got a great chance out there. They got something else to try to uh, keep it up on the board. They might have it all down in the building. Two changes here for the Bucks and for the Celtics as Grant Williams is checked back in. And Ida Kubo and Drew Holiday are checked out as Boris Jr. and I are checked in. All five players checked out. No, three players are checked out. As three players are checked in, Feist, Williams, and Pritchard. Pritchard keeps it up to Brown. Brown right to Williams. Six in the shot clock. Tatum with the open look. Three player goes in. It's Tatum with nine points. And now they're extending it up by ten. Jason Tatum. The man knows himself. I'll give you some luck. Lopez back to Allen. Richard on the cover. Milton on Tatum. Pocket six for Milwaukee. He goes right inside. The two up and away. And that will be off the target and it's Feist with the rebound. Feist has two rebounds here for the game. And this one will be picked up his first rebound. Chris Middleton only has two. He may be too much to try to try to answer it back here. He can be too hard. He can be too slow to try to answer it back right away. Awesome effort here for Tatum. And it's Brown with the bucket. Six points in the game for Jalen Brown and an assist for Jason Tatum. Three for Matthews. That's in their time. And this one is going to be a blowout in the game here. They're trying to hit more three-pointers. Well, we better not have that. We approach down two minutes here in the third quarter of the game in game four. Brown outside. He kicks back to Pritchard. Celtics move around the wall in between the offense and defense. Brown, the cutting. That right, goes in for the box. And it's Brown with eight points. They are extending it up. Middleton on Tatum. Screen on Lopez. He finds a feed. Back to Matthews, right to Allen. Allen outside. Screen on Lopez again. The two for Allen. Rebound by Lopez. She checked it and it went back in. Oh man, that was gonna be a tough one. Well, that was a, that was the weirdest shot I've, I've ever seen here. After rejection, it could have been a it could have been a clear block, but it was too late. Yeah, I know. What's happening? It's okay. That's all you have to block. You can count on it. Look 
look at that play. That was Al Tatum with a scoop in between the legs and the layup in there gives him another feed off. He has 11 points now. Middleton outside covered by Tatum. 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. And he's fouled. That's Tatum with the first personal and Middleton with the dunk. And now he's up again with four points. All that drive was out with Chris Middleton. It was all that puts up a, a lot of stress here with going outside. That might be outside too much. Now he wants to get in the paint. He wants to show how it's done. New playing players have checked in as Ayana Kumpo brings back uh, Nuora and Pat Connaughton. Along with that other group, it will be Derek White, Marcus Smart, and of course right now on and in defender to pick him up. Yeah, Al Horford. Middleton hits the free throw. They're down by eight. And Al carries out. We're going to cross my fingers here for the fourth quarter, so it's coming up later. That's right. Stick around here later as we have the fourth quarter coming in our way. We'll see if you have your chance, but you're all luck here, Clover. I guess so. Derek White in about no problem that time. They are now back up by ten. This was the best play ever. Our players are making a great, tremendous drive out there. In front, in behind, from baseline, you know. It definitely does give them up with a true fact. Williams passes up to Smart. Only six seconds left. Williams, back to Smart. Brown for the buzz beater, and it goes off target. That is the end of the first quarter, and we'll see how promises go for you, Clover. 44 to 34 is your score. Fourth quarter is next after this. And a moment now to reveal the State Farm assist of the game. I'm glad, though. They get some great uh, average out there. But to check a look over again, Smart Dish up to Williams? I mean, you got to get some... Uh, Get some great open speeds. They got a great status. And thanks to Marcus Smart, he's smart. All and smart. Big time smart. I always agree on you there, Clover. You got a great uh, great idea to give that one. A uh, uh, good effort here to pick him up. The fourth quarter starts now as they all fueled up and we're ready to take on the last quarter of the game as a bad alley of the, of the layup puts up for Drew Holiday. Robert Williams in center. It's Marcus Smart here on point guard. And Al Horford in the point forward. Derek White here in small forward. And Jalen Brown here in shooting guard. Four to shoot. Brown in the attack. Another miss by Boston. New Orleans picks up a rebound as they're trailing it by 10. And he's fouled and gets off the target. The first foul gets up on Jalen Brown. His first personal first team foul. Oh boy, not so good already. And yes, they're all disliking the taller man. And that might be a very hard idea. Also with Brooke Lopez and Chris Milton. Two shots coming up here for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's been practicing all day, ready for the every postseason that he was ever about to do. All he had known is his whole all big time. The first free throw for Ida Kumpo went in. I'm betting this one was going to be a very tough one to try to like keep your eyes under pressure. Giannis Ida Kumpo was all strong enough to try to keep the eyes in in a good defense of the effort. It all turned out to be just like he did. The second free throw for Ayanna Kumpo is good. Now they're coming back in to try to pick up their run. They're down by eight. White up in front. Pat Connaughton rechecks the shot on White. Again, Connaughton to come in. Good, and outside the range it goes. It comes close, and he has his first three-pointer of the night. Oh, what? Well, I don't know what to say, but Pat Connaughton really did enjoy his time. He 
likes that one. They're making three pointers as Ryan Kluber. Robert Williams around the vodka. He goes right over to Horford and his ball is tipped away in a steal by Ana Kumpo. And again, in and out. Over and out. It's Horford with the block. What a deep, yeah. My oh my. You get you can count that one. Williams short on a three. And this will hold the ball for Celtics with 329 to go. 327 to go. And now the Celtics will call time here as this one is coming down the books. As Bobby Portis Jr. is checked in for the other player on the box. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Kia. Innovation that excites. Here for the uh, difference to make. Official vehicle of the NBA. AT&T 5G. And by Ruffles, the official snack of the NBA. This all proves out here from the head coach here of this one, replacing for Brad Stevens. We all seem like it looks like Brad Stevens is not going to be here with the Boston Celtics and his multiple career is already finished out here for tonight. Exactly. All it did turn out was too much to handle. The pressure was made here to try to sweep things up. They got something else to do to make them count for. To pay for and might be having a hard time to try to switch things up here. Now Connaughton, after the steal has been broken up for the Celtics. Connaughton outside on White. And Connaughton slammed down. And he goes down on the floor to down by four and on to Kumpo with the assist. No, this promise is going to be an unforgiving gift for you, Kumpo. We got to find out what else you have. White over to Horford. The screen's coming in for Robert Williams. And Horford jump in, the paint move. Horford's got his first one, he's now on the board. Wow, talk about that one, Al Luffy. He's all quiet out there, and he's back on the floor. White, Holiday, right over to Connaughton. Connaughton steps inside. The fade off shot gives it up, and a great D on Horford, and a battle on the rebound is Jalen Brown. Brown backs it up. Back to Woodford. 2 to 15 left to go here for the fourth quarter. Gives a bounce pass to Robert Williams. And it's bad pass. It was blocked up in front. Nuora just up to Holiday. Two minutes left here for the fourth quarter in game four. On to Kubo on Woodford. Holding up on the pressure. Six to shoot. Two for on the Kubo. Good, and down by four. This one's a never called timeout on Boston. With only a minute and 15 to remain, only two left for Milwaukee. I'm kind of scared. Whatever happens with the Bucks, it looks like you're going to move on if they get some winning team. This all may have been a cross out time pointing out there, but a moment at this point can be a change of knockout run. I may be showing things up if there's a player that wants to give things up here to one of the bigger times. And now let's reveal the New Balance player of the game for game four. The next one in the NBA playoff semifinals goes to Another one, Drew Holiday, two consecutive New Balance player of the game of the night. He is delivering that pressure out there. He now knows his spirit. He's got some great higher average, his good communication skills. Hasn't scored yet so far, but might be going for another one. They're rebounding, rejected up here for Tatum. Holiday back to Anna Kupo, it goes back in. They're down by two. They're going in big attack, and Drew Holiday with the assist. He's like a hard quick. He's here on the pace out there. Horford 
on the baseline. Outside, off for the Smart. Back to Tatum. Back to Snart. Open three. Another miss by Boston. They're now a chance to take a tie or take the lead. Middleton right to Holiday. Inside, Middleton up. Good! They're tied up now by 46. And this was a close out game. Oh boy, the Celtics fans are, are in trouble. Tatum back to Smart. Brown, open three. And no good on the three point range. On the Cooper, back the other way. Tatum up. Oh man, I am so shocked right now. It could be the end for you, Koba. You might have something else to give it a try. Now for Smart. Drive inside. Two for Rupert to speed. Time out, Milwaukee. And Smart able to let the crowd hear wild. Come up with the timeout. Oh man, this is going to save my life anyway. I hope they're on the board. Well, you'll see about that when you're for you, Clover. We got some a lot of higher average out there. Coming up next will be the Sixers and the other team of Miami Heat. That'll be happening here back at Philadelphia. Here for game four of the coverage as the Philadelphia Sixers are in the lead. We try to pick up 2-1 in the game in order to make them pressure out to slow them down. And I know that there could be a great chance opportunity here. If Miami Heat has a change up here to try to uh, slow things down, I know there's a chance. There might be one and another. That could be an ultimate timeout to make them stop the pressure. And now the both teams will have one timeout left here in between those two of Celtics and Bucks. The next one in the lead will be up and away. Holiday for three. Off the bound. And Tatum just off to Brown. Brown, here he comes. What a jam. He's in there. Brown gets a dunk. Oh, man, the crowd is going wild for tonight. Wow, you're definitely a true hero. Oh, Brown. Hero on Brown for Smart. Four for Anacupo. Back in again. He ties it up. And this one going to be a last timeout call by the Boston Celtics with only 24.9 seconds. This is a tough one to make the decision out there. Even more crazy than they had. And boy, we got a long range to go out there. We could be extending it up to try to slow things down here for NBA to the NHL, the Stanley Cup playoffs. This was a hardest matchup here in between the zones. I mean, what is you? What is going with the teams if you're looking for the win here, guys? Um, I bet, I think there might be a, a change up here. This could be the end of the night. I'm thinking that if Giannis Antetokounmpo wants to uh, settle up here back in the Eastern Conference Finals, I think they might be uh, going for a hard change up here on the drive. They might have some another higher attitude that can give it off here for tonight. And for you, Clover? Uh, I'm getting across here. I'm not going anywhere. Not going to leave. But stay with the team here with the Celtics. That's all that I have. Courage on me. Well, let's see what happens here. Decision starts now. And with one last to go for the Bucks, it looks like they got some, a lot of a lot of players to try to work this thing around. And now Smart will help their team to make the average with the higher average make. Horford outside. Smart back to Tatum. Gives off to Vice. And Smart. Vice helps him out with the screen. Smart inside. The lead. Good! Smart delivers it. They're back up by two. Timeout for the last one in Milwaukee. Woo! Boy, Marcus Smart really got a good tension out there. I don't know what to tell you. They might be going back to back in that swing shot. The swing in between the zones. This alley was going to be a very tough one in there for tonight. And I don't know who will it be, but I think the revenge will be putting up here for tonight for Boston Celtics to try to win game four in order to keep them alive. And if game five necessary for Bucks and Celtics, we might have a chance to head you back to the ever team and the ever direction.
here at Milwaukee for Viser.fora. And right now, are you right betting for the Celtics to win here, Terry Clover? I know it could be your best of luck. I think so. What about you, Mr. Silver Spoon? I don't care. It may be a switch up. I don't know who's it going to be. So, well, let's see how well we can do. And here we go. We're down to 7.6 seconds left. Ana Kupo looking for a chance to beat the game. And Ana Kupo, the deep three. No good. That means the save of the luck. For you, Clover! Final score, the Celtics, 52, and Bucks, 50. Wow, their team is not going to lose, and they have a chance to win it. They did it all. What a game, Preston. Yeah, they are all stoned up to be the one last single thoughts. And we have no time left here, as we will catch you things over to flip you on the other side here. I'm so sorry, Ali, but we'll have to deal with that one for you next time. And of course, with this game, we will be back with you with the Western Conference to get things up here for the run if the changeup is being occurred. I had a lot of fun time with you. What a day. Good day always comes to you out here, Clover. And stick things up here with the three star players of the game. Why don't you go ahead and start things off here, you, Clover? For you first. Thank you very much. I will do always. Number three. We all have it out in front. That was all I happened to be here. For Marcus Smart, with only 10 points, help the team to take the lead and also be on the best lookout. There is no option. A lot of faces in the pack. They got a good strength. Well done, there's Smart. The best drive of the game. Now for Silver Spoon with number two. Number two, it's Jason Tatum. He all did the result. 11 points here and two rebounds. All did for once. And all for here for one assist at this game. He now delivers a 13 performance run and had a great feed opportunity here to give it all. And for number one, for you, Centipede, this one goes out to Giannis Adekumpo again. I don't know why they call him for Adekumpo to be the Greek freak, but all it did happen once was 20 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, and last time was 7, but now this time was 3. Making it 10 dunks here and away games here at Boston, delivering up a huge run in between the zones. And that will do the game here for the first one for the rematch of the Boston Celtics and Milwaukee Bucks. So I'd like to thank you all here for watching and tune in right now as we got the next one coming in, Sixers and the Heat. We will head you over to Kevin Harlan along with the Ever Crews that will be helping here for tonight. And right back then, Mifo will take it here from the Everlane. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and peace out everyone for a while as the NBA playoffs. Me, Son of Beast, Silver Spoon, and Clover are gone. Have a good night here in Clover for the day of Boston of Massachusetts. Until next time, folks.